Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, after seven, after spring break, I'm not great anymore. So, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're just gonna go through is now a new type of function. And it's been one that you guys have, right? it's one that you guys have heard about um, for a lot of different times. And what we're gonna be dealing with is the exponential function. So, so far in this class, we've really dealt with y equals x, which we called the identity function, right? And that was a line that looked like that. You guys don't really need to write this down. I'm just kind of going through a little review. We've talked about the quadratic function, right? Um, we've also talked about the absolute value function. Right? That's what the primary functions that we've talked about, correct? Yes? OK. And then for each one of these functions, ladies and gentlemen, we also talked about how we can have transformations. I just want to quickly review this. This one, we talked about vertex form, which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And here, we talked about y equals a absolute value of x minus h plus k. Right? Everybody remember this? OK. Then, if you guys remember, what did the h tell us in both of these equations as far as transformation, where we're going to move the graph? That moves it left or right. And right, remember, it's always opposite of h, right? So we're going in the opposite direction. And we're going to go left or right with h. And then k tells us to shift it up or down. a tells us if we're going to stretch or compress. And A also tells us if we're going to if it's going to open up or if it's going to be reflected about the x-axis, right? Those are the kind of things we've been talking about so far. So let's go into. So that's your basic review of our three main functions we're going to talk about. Now we're going to go into a new function. So the new function looks like this. Exponential, y equals b to the x. So now your variable is up in the front. okay? And actually, if you want to write this in your, well, we'll get to the transformation form here in a second. So um, to go and kind of look at the graph, the main important thing we want to look at for this is what if Remember when we talked about whenever you take a value and you raise it to a power of 0, what is that value always going to equal? One. 1. So we could say when x equals 0, we're going to have 1, right? All right. Then, if you guys look at it, remember taking, if we raise it to like the 1 half power, raising it to the 1 half power is the same thing as like taking the root of it, right? Mm -hmm. So if we keep on taking the larger and larger root of b, are those going to be larger or smaller numbers? No. Right? They're going to be what? Smaller. So my values, as I'm taking, um, my values are going to keep on getting smaller and smaller. And then if x gets larger, if I take b to the second power, b to the third power, b to the fourth power, those values are going to get larger as well, right? We can look at this in a graph in a second, but I just want to show you guys what the general shape of the graph is. And you can see that this graph, what we call exponentially grows. And then also, it comes down, it looks like it's going to get close to the, zero, the line of the x-axis, but it's never going to actually approach it. And we'll talk a little bit more about the patterns on this. Um, but what I want you guys to say is you guys have heard a lot about exponential growth, right? Something grows exponentially, right? You guys heard that term before? And what that exactly is saying is, OK, from here to here, it's not really growing, right? The slope, the slope of the tangent line here is not really that large. No, nah, it's not really great here. It's getting a little bit larger, right? It's growing a little bit faster growing a little bit faster. And then if you could see, like, so between this point and this point, you don't really grow. It's not really steep, right? But then between this point and this point, you can see how steep it is, right? And that exponential growth just keeps on getting steeper and steeper, and it keeps on getting higher and higher. Does everybody see how the exponential function kind of works? It starts off at kind of a slow curve, and then it exponentially grows up, right? So it's, it, gets, it increases very, very quickly. So let's go and take a look then real quick. All right, because we're not going to spend too much time on this, but I want to make sure I at least understand that you guys at least know that at every exponential function is always going to have a y-intercept at 0, 1. 
And then the next thing is, rather than writing this format, we can also write it as y equals a b to the x minus h plus k. All right? So if I gave you a function, an exponential function in this format, what do you think the h is going to tell us? Huh? h is going to do left and right again, right? What do you think that k is going to do? Up and down. What do you think the A is going to do? Compress or expand. A is going to help you with the compress. Oh, and that's also going to reflect, right, as well. OK? And so that's pretty much what I just want you guys to understand, at least like the understanding and what that graph is going to look like. OK? Cool. And that's really about it for that. So I'll go into a couple problems. We're not even like.